six o'clock, the factory uttered a prolonged howl and gathered the workers together. And there they worked, saving two hours for food, the whole of the daylit hours, and into the dark, till the bells tolled six again. All here was ugly. Even the green wool as it whirled round and round was neither the green of the grass nor yet the green of the rushes, but a sorry, muddy green that befitted a sullen city under a murky sky. And all the while the soul of Mary Jane was crying for beautiful things and found not one. One day at the hour when the machines rested and the human beings that tended them rested too, the wind being at that time from the direction of the marshlands, the soul of Mary Jane lamented bitterly. Then as she stood outside the factory gates, the soul irresistibly compelled her to sing and a wild song came from her lips, hymning the marshlands.
and into her song came crying her yearning for home and for the sound of the shout of the north wind masterful and proud with his lovely lady the snow and she sang of tales that the rushes murmured to one another and over the crowded streets her song went crying away the song of waste places and of wild free lands full of wonder and magic at this moment signor tomsoni the well-known english tenor happened to go by with a friend he stopped and listened there has been nothing like this in europe in my time so a change came into the life of mary jane people were written to and finally it was arranged that she should take a leading part in the covent garden opera <laughs> 